Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video, Pizza Hut, The Big New Yorker Pizza Review. It's back in 2023, Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded today and I'm gonna react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Out reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to the channel, where today I'm over at Pizza Hut to take a look at their latest promo that's literally 24 plus years in the making. That's right, you guys begged, you guys pleaded, and now it's finally here. Back after 24 plus years, guys, the big New Yorker pizza. And this is looking absolutely insane. I can barely hold this in front of the camera here, steady anyway. Let me break this one on down for you real fast. Yes, sir. Something this big is obviously going to come in a bigger size box, guys. 16 inches of XL Fury to be exact, and this is looking pretty nice. So basically what this is, is a super extra large pizza with six oversized slices that are actually topped off with double pepperoni, sweet marinara sauce, extra cheese, and Parmesan oregano seasoning. All the classic flavors from New York and the inspired goodness here with this one. And I got to say, it is looking really, really nice. The presentation is pretty killer on this one. You have to admit, it looks pretty great. And one thing that's really standing out for me outside of the size of these pieces, guys, is the fact that the double pepperoni has the cup and crisp and the regular pepperoni action in effect with this one. So, guys, let's not waste any more time on this. Let's get into it. It's the returning Big New Yorker pizza here at Pizza Hut after 24 plus years. Let's peep out this flavor. That's right, baby. It's the return of the king. And I'm not talking about Lord of the Rings, guys. You already know what it is. This just looks really, really awesome. Really, really nice in the presentation department. And that aroma is lighting up my car beautifully here right now. So let me put this on down. And again, very, very huge box here in the car. I'm going to pick up a slice here. And wow, this is definitely oversized. Take a look at this action, guys. Foldable goodness right here. New York style. The thin crust is looking pretty nice. It's definitely got a pretty nice undercarriage here as well. No real flopping with this one. That is really cool. And again, with the double pepperoni, the crisping cup, and the regular styes, I got to say, guys, very nice with that cheese. You know what? Let me fold this one here. Let's kind of do it. Whoa, as I almost lose the slice, let's fold this over and give it that New York feel here. There you go, guys. Very nice with this one. Let's give this a shot. It's the returning Big New Yorker pizza here at Pizza Hut. Let's peep this out. This really looks pretty banging. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> Well, right off the break, this is simulating the experience of having a New York slice pretty nice. Sorry, I had to crack my neck, or at least tried to, sorry. And I had a niche on my nose, too. Sorry, everyone. So guys, I mean, the oversized goodness here, of course, is absolutely on point. The thinness of it as well. But honestly, it doesn't really taste like New York, believe it or not. It really just tastes like a pretty nice pepperoni slice of pizza from Pizza Hut. So let me go in a little bit further. I'm going to explain a little bit further. But guys, so far, this is just super fun to eat right now. And I love the fact that it's foldable. It's almost like having a sandwich, technically, right? Two pieces of bread, all the goodness in the middle right over there. And again, the double pepperoni action, the cup and crisp action. A nice little carryover from the Detroit-style pizza. That's a bad and choice with this one. Let's keep going in. Mm. Well, you pepperoni heads are really going to love this one, guys, because there is a nice amount of the goodness across the board with this one. The Crispin Cup adds a nice little bit of crunch, and it's definitely adding overall to the crunchiness that I'm getting from the crust itself. It doesn't really have that New York feel, meaning that the taste is pretty much like a Pizza Hut pizza, like I said. If you guys have been to New York, and naturally, I grew up there up until about 11 years old, came out here in 1984. If you're any type of pizza aficionado, most of you guys know it's all about the water recipe back east. There's something in the water that makes the pizza taste so much better in New York, and I can't really explain it other than that, but you know it when you taste it. This is actually a very nice evolutionary step up from that naturally here on the West Coast because it's trying to mimic some of that goodness, but naturally with all this classic Pizza Hut ingredients, of course. So I'm digging this. Let's go for a couple more bites on it. We'll get further in. Hang on. Good girl. You know, one thing I really do like about this is the crust in the very back because it does feel pretty authentic in that regard, guys, because New York pizza typically has a little bit more of a crunchier type of outer crust. And I really like the fact that you can really see it there. The distinction is really, really nice on this. And of course, with that marinara sauce and the sauce itself there, along with the cheese mixing together, of course, it's a nice combination. But again, it's Pizza Hut ingredients. So there's going to be a little bit of a difference in terms of authenticity. I'm definitely digging the fact that it's New York inspired because it looks the part. It almost tastes the part, but it's not quite there. 
there, but it's still very, very tasty for what it is. And guys, like I said, if you're a pepperoni head, you have a lot to look forward to with this one. Let me go for just a couple more on this one outside of the two that I think I said I was going to take with it there because I really want to kind of get further in here, guys. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. But I think the fact that it's oversized is really enhancing the experience for me right now. It feels like I'm having two regular slices of Pizza Hut pizza, not the pan style, the thin. And at the same time, I'm digging that. So let's go for a couple more. Mmm. The back crust is good. That's really good, actually. So yeah, I can see why a lot of you peeps have been screaming for this one online to come back after 24 plus years, guys, because the presentation is pretty killer, and Pizza Hut hasn't had something like this since, naturally. So it's nice to see a return to form of something like that. But again, just a little bit different in terms of what this actually is compared to a true New York slice, but at the same time, it's done the West Coast way, and the fact that they're not saying it's exactly New York pizza, it's New York inspired, so... Sorry, everyone, I had to try to crack my neck again, and I did a little bit. And I had a net on my head, too. Sorry about that, everybody. Very tasty, very safe with this one. And I got to say, I'm still digging it. For $13.99, not bad for what this is. For six oversized slices, I'm definitely digging the box. I think the box looks incredible on the outside. And they're really championing the fact that it's back. And I know a lot of you guys are excited about that. So let's go for one more bite. We're after review with the rating coming up next. But I'm glad to have given this one a shot. Being that I'm a true New Yorker, naturally transplanted out to the West Coast, this is still pretty banging. One more bite, and we'll close it out. Hang on. Here's another shot of one of the other slices, guys. And this one is a little bit more in line with the regular New York cut. The one that I had there was a little bit more oversized. But as you can see, this is still looking pretty good. The fact that you have a lot of pepperoni on this especially is cause for concern because of the grease on the very bottom of this one, if you can see that. But at the same time, I really love the overall flavor. And like I said, it's mimicking the fact that this is trying to be a New York slice, really, in essence. And at the same time, the appearance is kind of playing with my head just a little bit. I love the crust in the very back. And overall, the experience about having this one right now is a lot of fun, especially to film it for you guys here on the channel. Pretty tasty. No one out pizzas the hut. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the returning Big New Yorker Pizza here at Pizza Hut a pretty rock solid 8.3 out of 10. And I'm going a little above 8, guys, because it really is playing with my head in terms of the presentation. This is really kind of dressed up in quote-unquote New York clothing, so to speak. It looks the part. It's got the crust in the back. But at its core, it's still a Pizza Hut pizza. So like I said, the recipe back east really differentiates the overall quality in terms of the flavor because it really has something to do with the water that they put into the dough. There's just something very unique about it, on top of the ingredients being just a little bit different, a little bit more the tang I think back east would have been better but with this I gotta say it looks the part it almost feels the part the size is good and again it's a pretty decent doppelganger for an east coast pie here on the west coast it's definitely worth checking out and if you've made it this far into the review you're most likely gonna right all right, so do me a quick favor. Drop those comments down below. Let me know if you are going to be giving this one a shot. And if you've had authentic New York pizza from back east, naturally, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you truly thought about this pie compared to that. Is this a pretty good doppelganger in your opinion? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Pizza Side Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 7,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 2,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really definitely appreciate that. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.